Stanja Belisco here, from the black holes of Dakota Toritary, United States of Adverse Weather, and there it is right there, Western South Dakota and Northeastern Wyoming Zone. The National Weather Service website is what I'm using for this video for two reasons. Number one, I think they've probably got the best experts of all of the uh, weather websites available, and number two, I'm not violating any copyright as far as I know of by showing government images. www.weather.gov That's the website. You can tailor it as you wish. Best thing to do is to enter your location right here at the upper left, either by zip code or by town, and it'll take you there. I happen to live in Leed, South Dakota. My office is in Rapid City. That's my local office. The date today is the 6th of May 2015 and some of those other websites for weather are forecasting large amounts of snow for this weekend whereas uh, others are just forecasting rain mixed with snow and little or no accumulation. So I thought I'd get try to get the scoop from these people and one thing about this site that makes it very, very difficult to use is that uh, it's hard to get the data you want. You really have to snoop around. There's so much information, but that's, you know, that's the government for you. Information coming out of your ears. No, that's trite. Information coming out of your, um, well, that's gross. But tonight is the, the May 6th. It's a Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday night. It's going to rain and we need that bad. I sure hope my drought forecast was wrong. I hope I was wrong because uh, otherwise we'd have some dangerous uh, fire conditions coming up. But Saturday and Saturday night and Sunday, particularly these days, rain and snow. I wonder what it says here. Is it going to take me anywhere, or is it just going to... Well, I don't know exactly. Here, detailed forecast. you know, you got to snoop around here. Saturday night, Saturday, showers likely with a high near 40. Rain showers likely before 7 p.m., then rain and snow showers. Uh, chance of precipitation. They don't talk about now showers. When I lived in Carson City, Nevada, we had a snow shower that accumulated to three feet. So here in the black holes, things are probably even more chaotic than that. Here in the black holes, by the way, I would have to say that only two kinds of people try to predict the weather. A damn fool and a meteorologist. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's kind of up in the air. You always prepare, though, around here, because here, where I'm at, lead in the black holes, uh, variable to topography, I'm at 5,200 feet, but there's some places that are higher, and some places like Spearfish, Sturgis, Rapid City that are lower. They might get rain and wind, and while we get four foot of snow, it only pays to be prepared if you're going to live in a place like this. But it's worth it. Because I could, well, no, I'm not going to tell you that because then you'll come test me. But all I'm going to tell you is that's the sign here is that I think we're going to have a lot of snow, to tell you the truth. I think we're going to have a lot. And I've got my generator and everything else ready. So, bring it on. I'm not really looking forward to it, though, sick as I am. Uh, I, it's tough. I can't, there's no way I'm going to shovel for foot of snow. So, we'll be snowed in, got to stock up on groceries and gasoline for the generator, uh, which will run this thing so I can keep making videos at you as long as the servers keep going, and you'll have to continue to suffer with my yammering. I'll tell you what happened later on, if I can remember to do it. Got so many other things going on that sometimes, you know, I forget about little things like five feet of snow. 
Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.